Today, we're going to be taking a trip down memory lane and looking at the top horror games from each year, starting from 2013 all the way up until 2023. So buckle up and get ready for a spine-tingling ride as we explore some of the scariest and most memorable horror games that have graced our screens over the years. And if you're anything like us, make sure to grab a blanket, turn off the lights, and prepare for a scare. Kicking off our list with 2013's most terrifying game, we have Outlast. This game follows a journalist investigating a remote asylum and the horrors that lie within. With limited weapons and no means of defense, players must rely on stealth and quick thinking to survive. Outlast took the gaming world by storm with its heart-pounding gameplay, jump scares, and chilling atmosphere. It's a game that will have you checking over your shoulder and questioning every sound you hear. Next up, we have The Evil Within, released in 2014. This game is a true masterpiece of horror, created by none other than Shinji Mikami, the creator of the legendary Resident Evil series. The Evil Within combines elements of psychological horror and survival horror, with a dash of action thrown in for good measure. It's a game that will have you on the edge of your seat, with its twisted story, grotesque monsters, and terrifying boss battles. Moving on to 2015, we have Until Dawn, a game that puts you in control of a group of teenagers trying to survive a night in a remote mountain cabin. With multiple endings and branching storylines, Until Dawn keeps you on your toes, never knowing what's coming next. What sets Until Dawn apart is its use of the butterfly effect system, where every decision you make has consequences that can lead to life or death. It's a game that will have you second-guessing every choice you make, and the consequences of those choices can be truly terrifying. In 2016, we saw the release of the latest installment in the Resident Evil series, Resident Evil 7, Biohazard. This game was a return to the series' survival horror roots, with a first-person perspective and a focus on exploration and puzzle solving. Set in a derelict plantation in Louisiana, Resident Evil 7 is a game that will have you jumping out of your skin with its jump scares and intense atmosphere. It's a must-play for any horror game fan and a testament to the longevity of the Resident Evil series. They locked me up and took my soul Little Nightmares, released in 2017, is a game that is both creepy and adorable at the same time. You play as a small, yellow-hooded character named Six, who is trying to escape from the Maw, a mysterious vessel inhabited by grotesque monsters. Little Nightmares is a game that will tug at your heartstrings while also giving you nightmares. Its twisted world and unsettling visuals make it a standout game in the horror genre. In 2018, we saw the release of The Forest, a game that combines survival horror with crafting and building mechanics. You play as a survivor of a plane crash who must navigate a mysterious forest filled with cannibalistic mutants. The forest is a game that will have you constantly on the move, searching for resources and trying to avoid the mutants that roam the forest. The game also features a day-night cycle, where you lean to build a shelter and make a fire to survive the cold nights. And if you're feeling brave, you can even explore the many caves that dot the forest, but beware, they hold even greater dangers. In 2019, we saw the release of Control, a game that blends horror with science fiction and action. 
You play as Jesse Faden, a woman searching for her missing brother in the Federal Bureau of Control, a secretive government agency that deals with supernatural phenomena. Control is a game that will have you questioning your own sanity as you delve deeper into the mysteries of the Bureau and its strange powers. The game's use of telekinesis and other psychic abilities also adds a unique twist to the horror genre, making for a truly engaging experience. And that's all I can remember of that dream. The number one horror game of 2020 is the Dark Pictures anthology, Little Hope. This game takes place in a small town called Little Hope, where you play as a group of college students who get stranded after their bus crashes. They soon find themselves in the middle of a town that is haunted by an ancient evil. With multiple branching storylines and multiple endings, this game will keep you on the edge of your seat until the very end. The graphics are stunning and the sound design is top notch, but be warned, this game is not for the faint of heart. You survived the man of Medan, so no doubt you discovered that the legend had a glimmer of truth to it. Now, I want... In 2021, we saw the release of Resident Evil Village, the latest installment in the long-running Resident Evil series. Set in a creepy Eastern European village, the game follows Ethan Winters as he tries to rescue his daughter from the clutches of the twisted and monstrous Lady Dimitrescu. Resident Evil Village is a game that pulls out all the stops, with intense combat, grotesque monsters, and a story that will keep you on the edge of your seat. And let's not forget about Lady Dimitrescu, the towering vampire who has become an internet sensation in her own right. Well, well, Ethan Winters, there you are. <laughs> Although it wasn't a part of the Dark Films collection, when it was released on June 10, the quarry was seen as Until Dawn's spiritual successor. For those who are not familiar, these games are interactive horror flicks in which the outcome is determined by your decisions towards a group of, often teenagers. You may even play with your buddies in multiplayer mode to share the thrills and contentious choices. When a group of summer camp counselors finish up and rejoice, locals with a bad reputation and a much greater supernatural menace quickly put an end to the youthful celebration. When being chased, switch between the nine helpless counselors and carefully consider each choice. Up to seven friends can play along online or kick back and enjoy the talents of David Arquette, Ariel Winter, Brenda Song, and more in movie mode. I did see a weird light in the treehouse across the lake. That was pretty spooky. Maybe it's your girlfriend, Ryan. The hack of hack is quarry. Did you hear that? Mm-hmm. Should we look? And finally, we come to 2023, a year that has yet to happen to an end. But I think Resident Evil 4 Remake might take a spot in best horror games of 2023 list. The initial Resident Evil 4 set the standard for survival horror games as a genre when it was initially released in 2005, and is regarded by many as one of the best games of all time. It is now getting a remake, much like Resident Evil 2 and Resident Evil 3 did before it, almost 20 years later. As a more action-oriented take on the survival horror experience, Resident Evil 4's gameplay has a lot of opportunity to capitalize on the capabilities given by modern hardware to make the thrilling combat and terrifying survival mechanisms more immersive than ever before. Well, that's it for our trip down memory lane. We hope you enjoyed our list of the top horror games from each year. Whether you're a fan of jump scares, psychological horror, or survival horror, there's something on this list for everyone. So grab your favorite horror game, turn off the lights and prepare for a scare. And as always, make sure to like and subscribe for more horror gaming content. Until next time, stay spooky.